Now to our exclusive interview with L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. The L.A. City Council now asking tough questions about her budget to provide $1.3 billion to fight homelessness. That budget includes $250 million to expand her Inside Safe program. We spoke at L.A. City Hall a short time ago. We want to reach the point where we can do Inside Safe in all 15 council districts. And what that means is, is that we want to clear out encampments citywide. So Bob Blumenfeld, who runs the, the city budget committee, mm -hmm. is saying, whoa, 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 let's put the brakes on this a bit. We're not giving you a $250 million blank check. We need to sort of look at this closer, slow things down a bit. What do you say to that? Does he have a point that they should be able to, to check on this uh, well, well, first of all, the council has been involved 150% from day one. In other words, when we see an encampment, most of the time it's the council that has said, please help us deal with this encampment. And so that's where we go and why we go. And we are most certainly not asking for a blank check. I think in the beginning, the council wasn't sure exactly what the breakdown of the 250 million was, and so we've provided that. So we're in the process now of the dialogue. So we have worked very well over these last number of days. Bob and I served together in the state legislature through very difficult times. As a matter of fact, he was budget chair there. And I'm sure we will be able to reach a resolution that allows Inside Safe to continue to move forward and reach the scale that it needs to be. Are you concerned that this might be the first time you guys are sort of going at it? Well, it's the first time we've had the challenge of the budget and everybody has different opinions. That's the messy part of the democratic process. Do you feel like some of what the city council is talking about puts up more red tape and might make it harder to actually help people on the street? That is possible, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, so in terms of the money you do want, that $250 million, what does that actually mean for the average person sure. that's watching this that feels like we have thrown so much money at this problem, yes. it's only gotten worse, right. why is throwing more money at this problem going to make it any better, what's different well, now? Well, the bottom line is, is that we have to clear out the encampments and get people's housed. And I do think that many Angelinos, not all, but many Angelinos have seen a difference. Where they had encampments, those encampments now are gone and those people are housed. The bottom line is, it costs money to move people off the streets. I don't think Angelinos mind spending the money when they see the difference. And most of that money you're talking about would go towards hotels, motels, potentially so, buying hotels, exactly, motels. Exactly, exactly. Because you know, the, the, the great lesson from these last 150 days is that we need an infrastructure in our city of interim housing that is permanent. Doing what we're doing by renting motels is not sustainable long term, which is why we want to move to purchase motels and hotels. Because the city is going to need a network so that people have no reason to be on the street. When you see, though, the situation, say, on, like, San Vicente Boulevard, and there's the encampment there, and a lot of the people say there's, we're not getting help, and they, they're stay frustrated that, that you stay haven't tuned. done more. What do you say to them? I say stay tuned, yeah. and uh, you will see a difference soon. But let me just tell you something. This is one of the things that has happened, is that if we announce the date that encampment is going to be cleared out, then we'll have twice the number of tents there. Stay tuned. Why is that? Because then those people will use that as an excuse to get housing? No. Well, no. I, what I'm saying is, is that adjacent cities will begin to send people. Oh, I see. <laughs> and that is what we have seen happen, and we don't want that to happen. So what is the, the bottom line point when it comes to the budget that you want the people of L.A. to know? Oh, the bottom line point is, is that we need to have the resources to continue the momentum around getting people off the streets and into motels. But here's the thing, Alex, and this is what really worries me, is that we need to then move people from the motels to permanent housing, not just interim, but permanent. And so we're running into now uh, uh, bureaucratic rules from the federal government. So you know I'm working with the Biden administration to see if we can get flexibility there.